why the jaw influences posture. Both neck and head posture and general body posture. I was always amazed at the size of the tongue. It came home to me most by eating tongue, ox's tongue, looking at the size of a piece of ox's tongue. And we forget when we look at the tip of the tongue, or the blade as it's often referred to, how big the entire organ of the tongue is. The tongue extends all the way down to the hyoid bone. It has extensions going up to the styloid process that is right here. Interestingly enough, the styloid process is almost exactly in the centre of the uh, vertebra. So it comes right up to the sort of fulcrum point of head balance and posture. And of course, it then extends all the way forward to the back, just behind the, man, the, the front of the mandible, uh, where genioglossus inserts just here. And this whole section is the tongue. It's a very large organ that sits inside the body. Now, if you keep your mouth closed, with the tongue up on the roof of the mouth, the tongue is up and away from the airway. So if we see from this diagram here, then the tongue really right up in the top of this section of the throat. This is looking up underneath here. Now, as the tongue and the mandible, because the two of them are closely associated usually, particularly with the major insertion here of genioglossus. As the tongue and the jaw drops down and back, the tongue's carried down into the airway. And as the tongue's carried down into the airway, you need to respond by changing your body posture, your, sorry, head and neck posture first, to maintain a comfortable airway, or to avoid airway embarrassment, as it's known within the profession. And in order to do this, of course, you can extend your head forwards. So as the jaw drops down, open the ears, and you can maintain a forward head posture, that's compensating for the embarrassment on the airway. Because, of course, we must remember that the most important thing in everyone's life is breathing. The next breath is the singular most important thing that most people have. So to achieve that next breath comfortably, we modify our posture, even if that modification is detrimental to our health in general. Because of course, as soon as our heads hold care, we have to change our general body posture. And this seems exacerbated by trends in modern society that seem to come at really the wrong time. I mean, this movement to us just not exercising, not building up our core strength. Moving down from uh, the horizon to TVs, desktops, laptops, and of course tablets or mobile devices. This general trend is contributing, as things happen, to changes in general body posture. So we're going from here, we're dropping our tongue and our mouth, and causing a general change in body and head posture. And this is obviously having greater influences. And it shows how a change in one part of the body is not isolated, but the whole body works as a single system.